Alright everyone, welcome back to another Arm Swing Breakdown on the Volley Nerds channel. Today, we are doing the arm swing of Miguel Angel Lopez Castro of the Cuban national team and also Sada Cruzeiro in Brazil, Brazilian professional club. So, this is an extremely explosive player. Uh, he's 24 years old, he's 6'3". And his spike touch is 11 feet, 11 inches. So you can already tell he has some serious power, serious athleticism. Uh, again, in all of these breakdowns we're doing, we're looking for three things. We are looking for hip-shoulder separation. We are looking for shoulder tilt to get your arm up into a better hitting position. And we are looking for hand turnover or uh, forearm rotation around the arm. So, we're going to watch this through one time. Please ignore the sound. So that right there is not even the best outcome that I've ever seen out of a jump serve, especially one of his jump serves. He has several where he just cleanly aces people without them even moving. But you can already tell just based on the first watch through, this man has some serious power behind his jump. Uh, an interesting note, before we even get started on the actual swing, I've noticed this happens a lot for a lot of players. When they start their approach, they have this sort of lean off to the side. I haven't yet determined why this happens, but my guess is that this makes it easier to keep their eye on the ball, and it sets them up for more spring into their last step. So you see it, he kind of springs out into his last two steps, as everyone should do on their approach. Always push into your last two steps to get the most amount of jumping power. So, let's go through it. First, big arm swing. Snaps down on his foot contact. And actually, his foot contact's a little late, but that allows him to travel further forward, which transfers his momentum more effectively into his swing. So, if you're not trying to get maximum height, but more intending to move outward towards your target and thus have more momentum in your swing, this is the best way to do it, is late foot contact, which allows more forward travel. So, as he brings his arms up, one arm goes up, the other arm gets starts to pull back right at around shoulder level, and thus we have the rotation beginning already. So he has a good amount of mobility. You can see here, if we get all the way back into full rotation, Hips are generally pretty square, and actually there's a slight tilt here, uh, but shoulders are fully rotated. This is almost 90 degrees of rotation. Uh, definitely doesn't need to be that severe, but because he has such good mobility, this is a safe position for him to be in and thus generate power from. So right here, he starts the turnover, and we've already noticed hand is nearly perpendicular with the upper body, so this allows for maximum rotation around the arm. So right here, as the hand begins to rotate, this is hip moves forward, hand moves back, creates the max amount of separation between the two. And right there, the shoulders are now starting to follow. The elbow comes up as the shoulders tilt and on contact, nearly horizontal shoulders and arms and he doesn't quite get to fully extended on contact very normal but on follow through immediately afterwards you can see that full extension happening so right here fairly neutral spine there is a I guess there is a very slight curvature of the spine but it's mostly rigid and the shoulders are mostly in line with each other and then the follow through if uh, if this was something that was a concern, you can see right here, he's pretty balanced, and if he'd kept his feet level, he could land on both feet, but because he wants to land nearly upright, he lands on one foot. Uh, if that's a concern for some hitters, for some players, they don't have stability either in their hip or their ankle, and thus their knee takes over and presents knee valgus. There is no knee valgus in this landing. For a lot of hitters, it's not a big deal. 
but something to keep in mind is you can land on both feet if you are balanced through your swing. Just lovely mechanics. Let's watch that one more time. It's such a good arm swing. All the way through. Comes up. Pulls back. Rotation. Hand rotates around. Full extension with the tilt. And just an extreme amount of power. Alright. So that does it for the arm swing of Miguel Angel Lopez Castro. I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments about this video breakdown, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe and have a nice day.